Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for December. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys. If it does not resonate for you, then um, please don't try to make it. But I do advise you to check your Moon and Rising signs as well as your Venus and Jupiter. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please visit pinkarianjim.com. And we will go from there, guys. Look at that. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. These cards are a little better than what I'm used to. Let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Some rising Venus and Jupiter signs. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? All right, Aquas. My Venus and my Jupiter is an Aquarius. Just, just say it. All right, and look at here. Got something to say? I think you do. I think you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who? We have Virgo energy here. Gemini, um, hmm, I feel, I don't know why, but I'm feeling Scorpio, feeling Scorpio, now, let me go ahead and lay your other cards out real quick, so we have Judgment here, um, just called it because this is Scorpio for me, judgment, letting something die, almost like death, but you know, just kind of resurrecting, um, resurrecting something, bringing it back. This is awakening here, Leo, strength, death. Ooh. Page of Cups, Page of Coins, and the King of Coins. You know, this absolutely looks beautiful to me. Even with the Seven of Swords being there. That's the only bad card that I see. And I'm not even so sure if it's bad. I keep looking at it because... You know, instantly, when you see the Seven of Swords, you think, oh, somebody's lying, cheating, you know, stealing, what have you. Um, but here, I get the feeling that this is, this is somebody that is trying to steer clear of somebody doing that. Like... I just get that strong sense here that this is actually looking back at somebody in this spread, looking back, at, excuse me, looking at, looking back at somebody and thinking, you know, you will not get me. You will not put me through what I have gone through before. I know you're, you're people like you. I know, you know, when somebody is trying to, to bamboozle me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's that person and guess what no nope, not gonna do it not gonna do it i'm able to recognize when somebody is really trying to get over making things happen you know being able to use you know your your energy in such a way that you almost become you know like a blockade for this type of energy And I feel like that's where you are coming from in the past and just being able to, you know, whereas before, if you noticed that somebody was, was doing some shady stuff, you know, you probably weren't so eager to speak about it. You probably tucked it away somewhere. Look at that under the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords right there. You're not, you're not doing that anymore. If you feel like you want to call somebody out on something, that's what you do. You call them out. 
and you're done with it. I like it. Look at that with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're not even, look, the Ace of Swords is, is right in the middle of the Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. No, I know the truth about whatever it is you're trying to pull over my eyes. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay? I'm going away from it. Standing my own power. I'm going to make something happen with or without you. And nine times out of ten is without you. Because if you're bringing this type of energy to me, I don't want it. And you're standing your ground here with the nine of wands. I don't want it. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here as well. No. Mm-mm. You're not even trying to deal with it. And if somebody does bring you this kind of energy, which they did in the past, you took a break from it. You took a break from it. I mean, you stepped away, you stepped back, and you decided what was right for you. You decided what was right for you. You're not letting anybody else influence what you know to be right for you. Okay? Now we have three pages here and this is very this is very significant to me because you know right now clarifying judgment we have the eight of coins which is building on something building something trying to establish something so this is something that is coming back and I'm not sure if it's separate from this uh, this energy up here or you know it may be it may be this person um, that you were dealing with but I get the feeling that this is this is something separate This is something separate here. Virgo energy here. Something totally separate. Um, maybe it's somebody else from your past. Another person from your past. And I get the feeling that it's somebody that is, um, that you did not have a very, somebody you know, for sure, and have known for a long time, I feel like, maybe, you know, 20 years or so. But I don't feel like, I feel like you guys have a history together, but I don't feel like it was like a really, really serious history, like, when you were involved with this person, like they, you guys didn't have this, you know, very serious relationship. But I think you're thinking seriously about them now or them you. Because it's something, it's something about this person that you realize that is good for you. Leo Virgo energy, I just feel it strongly here. Libra's here. Um, I feel like it's taking you, it's, you know, it's, you've come a long way. Like you've struggled. You've struggled to become, you know, this this really secure person where you can take care of yourself, take care of your family, and just be there for people that that are there for you. And not give so much of yourself when somebody is not deserving of that. I feel like you've come a long way and I feel like that is what's just and what's fair at this point because I feel like you've been stepped on a whole lot. And again, if this is not you, this is the other person. And it was time for you to end that, and you did. And now you are getting your happy back. You understand a whole lot more. You understand that there's more to life than 
you know, just taking somebody's ish just for the sake of being with them. You understand that. You understand how important it is, you know, for you and whoever you are with to be happy. Not that you make each other happy because you have to be happy within yourself. And then, you know, you can be happy with somebody, but they can't make you happy and, you know, you them either. So I think you're coming to a realization that, you know, it is exactly what it is. And you don't try to push it. And I think that's why all of these pages are here. And I think this energy is going vice versa. I think this person, and I feel like it is a new person. Not new, but you know, somebody that you don't have a whole lot of baggage with. I'll say that. Because we have your counterpart down here, the king of coins. But I feel like it's taking you guys some time to, you know, get to the point where you do actually come together and um, decide to go forward with this, to give it another try here with the page of cups, the four of swords, and the two of wands. That is giving something a chance, kind of really sitting down and thinking about, you know, what your option is, what your options are. You know, you can either, you know, stay single or you can give this person a chance, even though you've just come out of a relationship, you know, something like that. Because if you really feel strongly for somebody, you feel like it really, this person really is the one, then, um, Sometimes it's hard if you've just removed yourself from a relationship to think about giving, you know, going into another relationship. But I think that's, that's where, you know, this option is coming in at. You're going to have to make a choice. Somebody's going to have to make a choice here and come in and, you know, tell the other person. Realize that there is something very solid and grounded that could come out of this, you know, but it, communication needs to happen. Communication needs to, be, to happen. And, um, you know, I believe that somebody will be enlightened here. This is These are future cards. Somebody will be enlightened here to a connection and um, want to have a family and take care of, you know, the person that they're with. Look at this. King of Coins is closing this reading out in the future with the star, destiny, wish fulfillment, and a brand new passionate beginning. Okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn there. We also have Aquarius. Um, I see Aries here. Leo, Sagittarius energy. Good energy, guys. Okay? So that's what I have for you for the month of December, and I will be speaking with you soon, Aquarius.